What is going on everyone? It is Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video and today we're going to be talking about more potential characters that are going to be added into Injustice 2 and we're cooking here boys. We are getting closer and closer to Gamescom which is going to be where now the realm is going to reveal one new character for Injustice 2. Hopefully they have a surprise and they add another new character. Maybe we get two new reveals. Who knows but Gamescom by the way is on august the 18th through the 21st actually technically is the 17th through the 21st um but the 18th is where uh companies or where, when the doors open uh, i think the 17th is just for like press and stuff like that um but we're getting very close to gamescom which is going to be where they're going to reveal a new character so ed boone has really been hinting at many different characters for Injustice 2 and today he put out a Twitter poll that got me very very excited and I'll tell you guys the reason why but before I do that I'll show you guys the Twitter poll right now so his tweet goes okay just for fun just for fun Injustice 2 who do you want to see the most and it's a choice between John Constantine Starfire and Black Manta and when I saw this, I immediately said, yep, all those characters are going to be in Injustice 2. All of them. Not only one, not only two, but all three are going to be in Injustice 2. And two out of the three are actually characters that I had in my character prediction, which is pretty cool. John Constantine. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know much about this character other than the movie Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Wouldn't it be fucking awesome if Keanu Reeves provided the uh, facial capture that'll be awesome obviously it's too expensive even if they did do constantine he would be way too expensive for uh the, the the game but you know the point is constantine i don't know much about him i do know that um you know he uses magic as his primary power and he has a lot of you know different like abilities that he could do he's actually he looks like he is a sick ass character so for you John Constantine fans, educate me in the comment section. Uh, you know, I did a go read up on him, obviously. So I know that he has a lot of abilities and I think they could do a lot with him in Injustice 2 if he is put into the game. Starfire and Black Manta I know uh, more about. And, you know, spoiler alert, if you guys don't know, Black Manta is actually confirmed to be the the main villain in the upcoming Aquaman movie, the standalone Aquaman movie, which is going to be awesome. Wonder how they're going to portray uh, Black Manta in, you know, movie form. Uh, but anyways, back to this. So the reason that I think that all these characters are going to be in the game is because Ed Boon has done this in the past. He's put out straw polls in the past, or more specifically, a straw poll in the past asking people what character do they want to see the most in Injustice 2 and it was a choice between um, the Blue Beetle, uh, Swamp Thing and Captain Cold which Swamp Thing we still don't know if he's going to be in the game but he has a very very good chance based on you know things that Ed Boon has said on Twitter and stuff like that um, so if you guys remember that straw poll uh, Blue Beetle won it, and Blue Beetle was actually the first one of those three characters to be showcased at San Diego Comic-Con. And we know Captain Cold is going to be in the game because of the emblem in the t-shirt. You know, he was also, it was a little Easter egg in the initial reveal trailer. So we know Captain Cold is going to be in there. Like I said, Swamp Thing is still, you know, it's still debatable if he's going to be in the game or not. But if it comes to fruition that all those three characters are going to be in Injustice 2, then that means that all these three characters are going to be in Injustice 2 as well. Because he did the straw poll the same way, asking people who do they want to see the most in Injustice 2. And it's Constantine, Starfire, and Black Manta. I personally voted for Starfire because, you know, I want to see her in the game. I actually really like Starfire. I've said it in the past, but I think, you know, she's going to replace Raven in the Injustice roster. You know, Raven was in the last time. I think Starfire is going to replace her for Injustice 2. Maybe Raven is in it as well. Who knows? But, you know, I predict the Starfire to be in the game. Uh, Black Manta was, uh, you know, got a lot of attention at the start of the game or the start of, you know, the, the reveals for the game because he's a stage transition. And it's kind of weird to have... Black Manta as a stage transition and then have him be an actual character. Um, but maybe, you know, I think Martian Manhunter, if you're actually using Martian Manhunter in the stage where he does a little cameo where he appears on the stage, um, he's missing from the stage. If you actually, if one of the people use 
Martian Manhunter on the stage. He doesn't come out, but if he's not being used and he comes out just standing there, uh, I think that might be what they're going to do. Uh, I think, honestly, out of all these characters, out of these three, the one that I would think that would have the least amount of chance would be Black Manta. Uh, because I think Constantine, you know, they've mentioned that all these legacy characters have their same moves for a reason. They want people to be able to get into the game and know their character if, you know, for example, they use Superman, Batman, something like that. They want to have those people get into the game right away so they could try out, you know, maybe later on the new characters because uh, they, they really want to get into having uh, many different play styles and many different characters that they didn't have in Injustice. And, you know, magic-based characters, I think Zatanna might have been the only one in Injustice that was, you know, magic-based character. Don't quote me on that. I can't think of the whole roster off the top of my head right now. But, you know, they pretty much said that they want characters that are going to have unique play styles. So I think Constantine would fit perfectly into that. Starfire would fit perfectly into that. And I think, I, I do think Black Manta is going to be in the game. Like I said, I think all three of these characters are going to be in the game because, you know, from the last Twitter poll, it seems like all those three characters are going to be in the game. So, you know, I think there's no different with this one. But like I said, we're only a couple of days away from getting a new character reveal for Injustice 2. So keep your eye on the channel. I'm going to be covering, you know, every, every bit of news and anything that comes out on these new characters. So... Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your opinions and let me know if you guys think any of these three characters or all these three characters will be in Injustice 2. So that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys next time.